All right, so let's take a look at the problem we have here. And you've written out some code, which is awesome. It's always good to get a start. So let me share that with you. I've actually written out what you typed. OK, so I put it here. This is just an online Python uh, compiler. So let me run what we have. OK, so it's giving us an attribute error. And it's saying dict object has no attribute count. And as you see, it's coming from line nine. So let's look at line nine. So we're doing your drinks equals drinks.count small times two. And drinks is a dictionary. And it's saying dict object has no attribute count. So what it's saying is because this is a dictionary, you can't actually use count, which makes sense because count is actually reserved for lists. So if we had a list of sizes and we had like you said, two tubs. Then we'd be able to do something like uh, print. I'll just show you an example: sizes dot count tub, and that should give us two. Yep, and you see up here it gives us a two. So we can do that on lists, but we just can't do it on on dictionaries. So I think you're on the right track. Let's just do a little change here. Because drinks is a little confusing as a name for this dictionary, I'm going to call this drink prices. Because that actually explains what's going on here. You have a small, and it's a two. So there's your drink size. There's your price. We could actually say size prices or whatever name you want. But this helps explain it a little better. Um, now let's define a function where we're calculating the drink price given a list of sizes. And the way we want to do this, um, since you did it this way, where you're taking each size and multiplying it by the price for that size, I'm going to go with that. So we're going we're gonna to find the count, count each size and we're going to multiply that number by the price of that size okay so let's say we have a total and we'll just have it equal zero for now and then we're going to do our calc here and then we're going to return our total. And because I like checking, I'm just going to delete this for now so that we don't get errors. Because I like checking along every stage of the way, let's just print out what this returns if we call calc drink prices on, on our sizes. It should return 0 because we're just we're not doing any calculation yet. And it does, which is awesome. So now let's actually put our calc in here and say our total equals, well, we're going to do what you were doing. So we're going to take our first item, um, or we're going to take every small. We're going to count the number of smalls in sizes. So we're going to take that. And now you see that this count function pops up. So we could use that. And it, this is actually great, because it tells us what the function does. This little pop up here, it's going to return the number of occurrences of value. So let's take the number of smalls. And we're going to multiply it. You could say multiply by 2. Um, what I'd rather do here is say drink prices, and then put in small. And that's still going to return 2, because drink prices for small is 2. But if we were to make any change in here, say uh, we want to make a little more profit on smalls, let's make this 2.5, then you wouldn't have to change it in all the rest of your code. Yeah. So we're going to do that for small, then we're also going to do it for medium. So for every medium. Going to multiply it by the drink prices for medium. 
and I actually wrote this out ahead of time, so let me just copy that in. So you see I do that for large, and I also do it for tub. And then I'm just returning the total. We can get rid of this initialize here. Now let's see what happens if we run that. Cool. So it gives us 7.5, which is what we expect for two tubs. Um, now let's just to make sure that works. Let's make another size. We'll call it sizes two. And it's always good to test more than once. Um, I'll do a small, a large, and then just to put things out of order, I'll, I'll put a medium. Maybe I'll put another small in, and then I'll put a tub. And let's test this again on sizes two. Okay, so we didn't get an error, which is great. So we have two smalls, which is should be four, plus a medium, which is seven, plus a large, which is 10.5, plus a tub, which will bring us to 14.25. Yep, which is what we got. Awesome. So I hope that clears things up. If you need any more help, just leave a comment and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. Uh, let me just stop sharing video here. Okay, so I hope that helps again, and I'll answer any other questions you've got.